Hey guys. Hello, loaf. Oh, what up? Oh! Now, I've been on this island for a couple of months, but I have to say, the transfer has been quite a nice change. I mean, the zombies are still dickheads, but everyone that lives here is actually really cool, and I get pretty happy whenever I come across a fellow prisoner. I mean, I ran into the homie Nyx randomly, and he helped build this huge-ass base with me. And with building these memories with these guys made me think I don't ever want to forget this. And so, Feudal thought it was a good idea to wipe all of our memories and remove all of our bases to have a fresh start. Sorry. Fucking asshole. But you know, Tech One does what the hell they want to do, so I don't know, fucking suit. I finally awoke from my long slumber and was back in my orange jumpsuit like a sexy little clementine. Or as the cool kids say, a cutie. I thought I was ready to take on the island like it was no biggie. But my brain was a little fuzzy, so I was still trying to get my shit together so I don't die on the island. And, uh, yeah. I'm still a loser, and I still don't know how to kill these fucking things. But nevertheless, your boy was still trying to make a name for himself, and I needed to get some loot and find a place to call home. I went to Novigrad to see if the scum gods could toss a coin in your Witcher, and I came across the pirate's hat. And I found a shirt to match. It was pretty baller, and now I was destined to find me some booty. I came across this locked door, and I was interested to see what's inside. So I tried lockpicking, and I failed miserably. But I was determined to get in there, so I tried to find another way. I tried jumping from a balcony, but I failed once again. But I didn't give up. I tried again from a different angle, and I got in there like a rat going into his rat hole. And while I was happy that I got in there, there really wasn't much to take. But I thought it was kind of funny, and so I made a little sign. I searched around a bit, I killed a puppet that was sleeping, well, he got up, and I took a picture with him, and it was really sweet, it was a really memorable moment. It was starting to get really dark, but it was a good thing that I had found a portable work light so I can see in the night. I came across this low-key little base, and I thought I was a little sneaky snake, and I can get in this place no problem. So I jumped on top of this platform and hopped on the balcony, and I was thinking, wow, this is so easy, and yeah, it was easy, but at what cost? I got back to my body and the work light gave me some, well, uh, light to see my dead clone. I was cautious this time around, but I had to get in there now because they're not gonna kill me and I get nothing out of it. That's just not how things work with me. Fuck that. And it turned out this dude didn't really have much of anything. But hey, I got into his base, so I was proud of that. And I got some toaster strudels out of it, so that's pretty cool. I decided it was time to leave Novigrad as they didn't really toss much of a coin to your witcher and I still needed to find a place to call home. On my way searching for a home, I thought it'd be smart to go to the torpedo factory to get some loot. I heard shots nearby, so I knew someone was there and I was worried they stole all of the loot. A mech almost got me, but I'm smooth like butter and I got out that jam. But I got into another jam of beepers and I took one out with ease, but his boys were pissed and tried to fuck me up. Oh no! Don't run into the explosion, you dumb fu- Oh my god! What the fuck is going on here? Why is shit like this, bro? But I was alright. And so I went on trying to find some guns and shit. But there was nothing to be found except angry ass puppets, so I decided to leave. My buddy Invictus hit me up and told me he could scoop me and go house hunting. And who says no to house hunting? I fucked up some zombies on the way there, and I finally made it to the train bridge in A2. The homie Invictus blessed your boy with some gear as he knew I didn't have any. And I was really appreciative about that. Dude, you're a fucking, you're a beast. We made our way to B3 because that was a home I used to have on other islands, and it was just a nice place to be. I said my goodbyes to Invictus and went to find a house. I checked out the police station and I thought a jail cell kind of fits my needs for a nice living, since you know, my life is such a piece of shit. But Feudal said I wasn't allowed to live there because I'm so badass. And then the homie Nyx came out of nowhere and took me to Quarry to get some tools for a base and find a house. We got some gravel and some other stuff and I was feeling really good about what I got. I left his side for just a moment to check for some screws. And, uh, yeah, I got fucked up by some puppets. Oh, God. Oh, no, I'm gonna fucking die. I ran back to my body, and Nyx took me to a house nearby that is pretty sweet. I made a bed to make it official, and I went to work to getting the base done. I even took a picture with my home because I was happy to be a homeowner. I mean, that's a pretty big milestone in someone's life. The homie Invictus showed up to my house to give me a housewarming gift. This guy is such a thoughtful dude, and you'll be seeing this guy a lot. He brought me a lot of junk food. He, he wants me to be a fat ass. He even brought me tools so I can get my base nice and secure. And he even gave me a little dance. That shit was pretty hard. 
I took a little nap, and the homie Big Stev came through and started building the base as well. And like clockwork, Invictus came back again with another Twitch drop for your boy. And he just likes to make me fat, and I appreciate it. But my fat ass is gonna be fucking dying out here. We then drove back to Quarry to get some metal and tools, and things were looking pretty good for the day. We got back to my house, and I went back to upgrading the base, and over the next day or so, I just focused on getting metal and trying to upgrade my walls to level 3. And I finally did it, and I was ready for the adventures that would be coming in the next couple of days. Hey, we're fucking lit, boys. Let's, uh, let's, wait, we have the absinthe. All right, sounds good. We're gonna sit down here, dude. Well, yeah, do we kill ourselves and, like, drink or what? We gotta sip the absinthe, drink all. Oh. Cheers, guys. Ugh. Ugh. Dude, nah, I poured way too much tequila, dog. Drunk dancing in this bitch now. Don't be a bitch, chug that ass. Alright, fuck you. You ain't gonna call me a bitch. You wanna talk shit, huh, motherfucker? Chad, we got a shit talker. He thinks I'm a bitch. I ain't no fucking bitch. I ain't no bitch. Uh, fuck you, okay, Jack? Fuck you, Jack. <laughs> you know I'm just kidding. I love you. We're having a good time here, goddammit. You think I'll die while I lay down? Whoa. Will I die if I'm laying down? Mythbusters right here, boys. Oh, this guy's tweaking. <laughs> Look at him just shifting in bed. I'm gonna ask people in Discord and stuff and be like, yo, what are like some myths you guys wanna know about? You know, we do like a Mythbusters thing. I think that'd be pretty sick. Dude, this guy's swimming. This guy's fucking swimming. But I think we're gonna stay alive as long as we're laying down. Get your shit together, Loaf. We need to leave. We've been chilling at your house for like an hour. I think it was like, hold on. I need to check the time, man. Take your, take your gloves off, you drunk fuck. And, and your shirt. Hey, fuck it, take off your pants too. That's cool. Okay, it's three in the morning. All right, we're good. Hey, kids, don't try this at home though. We're about to, we're about to do some drunk driving. And it's gonna be a lot of fun. Don't, don't do it. Seriously, don't do it. No drunk driving, especially off the absinthe. Can't do it. Don't do it. Let's go have some fun. Let's go. Whoever's car this is, I'm drunk. Fuck your car. That was underwhelming. While my drunkness has faded off, I decided to take a trip to the quarry to grab some padlocks and some metal for the base, just to make me feel a little bit more secure. Oh, what the fuck? Fuck you. You bitch. Come here. Oh. What the? Oh, no! Well, that's what happens when you shoot, boys. I was feeling a little risky today, and I wanted to find some PvP. So I got back in my car, re-geared up back at base, and headed to the big town in B2. There wasn't much happening there, so I went to the airfield to see if I could find anyone there. Alright, maybe they won't see me. I live pretty risky, boys. What the fuck? Wait, did I not bring my bullets? <gasps> I'm a fucking idiot, dude. I am so fucked. Wait, yes I did. How come he's not reloading? Wait, what? You're like a dog chasing cars. What would you do if you caught one? I felt like a dog realizing like, wait, I'm not gonna catch up to this thing. Fuck. All right, this is cool. Hopefully that, uh, that guy's not uh, coming back. Cause I got unlimited bullets, goddammit. <laughs> oh fuck! I'm fucked! I'm so fucked. Put your fucking hands up. Get up out of your seat. All eyes on me. 
All eyes on me. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. All eyes on me. Actually, I'm just missing. That that's fair. I suck. Yeah. And I didn't bring any extra ammo. I'm such a dumbass. Literally, I just went through all of my ammo. All right. Well, let's find our ammo here. Oh my god. Oh god. Get up out of your seat. All eyes on me. All eyes on me. I ran back to my body and people were telling me that those puppets were probably gonna disappear. And they couldn't be more wrong. I have to say though, I was really giving those puppets a run for their money, or brains, or whatever. But in the end, I was dead. So as I was running back to the airfield, the homie Mountain Bear scooped your boy up and assisted me with getting my gear, and pretty much was escorting your boy. I got back to my body no problem, but Bear had died in the process. Moment of silence for Bear, please. So I searched his body like the gentleman that I am, and then I got gangbanged by some other puppets. Oh! No! No fucking way, bro! Bear and I met back up when we got our loot back and decided the airfield wasn't worth it. Run! Oh no, don't run! Do not run! Oh no! What? Get away from the truck. Bear then drove me back to my ATV and I decided to go to the B3 bunker. I got some really good loot out of it and I was pretty proud of myself and my journey. I'm fucking dead, dudes. No, I'm not. I'm the fucking shit. No fucking way. And yeah, that was bullshit. But, I ran back to the bunker, and I noticed some people were already in there. Why? I thought I closed it! Yo! Hey, guys. Hello, hello. Oh, what up? Oh! Did I give? All right, I'm, I'm not dead. Dead. If one of you guys can, uh. Okay, hold on. I'll get you. Hold on. What the fuck was that? Ah, oh, god damn it. Well, it's all right. We're gonna limp around here together. Wait, who died? Did someone die? Die? Oh yeah, walk, dance it off, dance it off. We were all in pain, and all decided to lay down and heal together as one. And then. I went on about my looting. Oh, the healing waters. Oh man, I don't even have any guns up over here trying to shoot shit. Bitch, come over here and let me stab you really quick. Let me hit you like one or two times. I'm gonna hit you like a. Hey guys. <laughs> if anyone can hear me, can you revive me, please? Yeah, 10 seconds to go behind, and if I find you, I'm gonna kill you. 9, 10. Alright, I'm looking for you. I don't know if you were talking about me too, but I'm hiding. Keep talking.
stock and load. Is anybody in there? <laughs> Psycho then gave me an the AK and a pirate's hat because he knew your boy was looking for booty. Well, I think I think I'm gonna head on out of here, dog. You guys be safe. Yeah, have fun. Be careful. Don't die. I will try. I ran home, and Invictus was blowing up fireworks to cheer me up because I was having a bad day. Oh, who's here? It's Invictus. But where is he? Oh, he's right here. Hello. And even though my day was pretty messed up, I always have some homies there to pick me up when I'm down. <laughs>